everyone and welcome back to the North Star Legacy where we have a very happy Darian finally reunited with his toddler daughter Ariel. I think he missed her way more than he thought he would on their little trip. Even though it was only three days away, all he and Gina could do was roll wants to see their little girl again. So I thought that was really adorable. And he's currently spending some bonding time with her, teaching her how to walk. And she is able to enjoy that bonding time together thanks to oh Gina <laughs> thanks to the new mommy who Gina was fine with until now Gina just literally really oh well hopefully she'll get over being a coward we'll have to get her some of that courage juice from Egypt come on sweetie wake up come on <laughs> and she's also got the attractive moodlet <laughs> what you're sending mixed signals, Gina. Okay, well, when she wakes up, because she has been okay with the mummy nanny up until now, then we're just going to send her... Gina, calm down. We're going to send her... Let's see, actually. I'm going to send her down into her her little absolutely adorable... Oh, actually, we need to send the, the babysitter home. This is the babysitter who took care... In fact, let's bestow the flight of felici Felicity and joke about children... Well, let's joke about children, but still flight, just because it seems like a polite thing to do, and then dismiss uh, the babysitter who came and took care of Ariel while we were gone. Darian, hang in there. I know you're hungry. You can have some apples to eat in just a minute. In fact, does he have any apples in here that we could feed to? He does. We're going to give these to Issa, our new nanny, so she can nibble some apples for her health. Hopefully, she still has enough teeth to do that. Gina, she's like, I don't know if this was the right choice after all. Gina, you're the one who wanted to keep a little bit of a supernatural touch. Bone Hilda was too much, so you guys have now gotten a nanny. Come on, you can do this. Gina, go upstairs. Meanwhile, the nanny is just like going from room to room cleaning. I love it. Look at her, she just wants to clean like everything. What a good nanny. Good, Gina didn't faint that time. I think it's just gonna be... <gasps> Yay! Ariel just learned to walk! Gina, how did you teach her to walk? <laughs> you were just in the house. <laughs> All right, so that happened. Oh, apparently everybody in the house taught her how to walk. That's adorable. Yay! So now she knows how to walk. Let's go ahead and put her... Oh, he wants to see his daughter age up well. He wants to talk to her. Oh, let's see. Let's chat with her. I'm so proud of them. All right. There we go. Oh, a little bit of flight of philosophy, Felicity so she can get home soon. Gwendolyn seemed like a pretty cool, pretty cool nanny. Wow, $75 for three days of nannying. That's awesome. Oh, oh, look at all the happy little moodlets. Potty train, age her up well. Oh, go on a stroller stroll. That's so sweet. That's so sweet. All right, but we're going to send Gina down to her new laboratory. Did you guys see her laboratory last time? I love it. I love it. We're going to send her down here with, um, let's see. She should have a couple potent potent invigorating elixir and that is going to work for hours to keep her awake and active and focused so we're going to let her drink that come down and research science well let me check what skills she needs she's good on gardening okay so i'm actually going to have her research handiness by upgrading this so that we can finally have enough skills so if she ever does go back to work sooner than later she will be able just to to get uh promoted finally She's currently on Aquatic Ecosystem Tweaker, and she hasn't gone to work in ages and ages. However, she is uh, expecting, so if we can get her promoted before then, it would be good. Darian wants to make a snow cone. No, Darian. Don't make a snow cone. You need to, my good friend Darian, eat some apples. He is still banished from using his elixirs until he is able to use a wish elixir. And meanwhile, let's see. Oh, what's going on over here? Make a snow coat? No. Here, you go ahead, 
Eat your apples. That should help. EC is going to be so much help. I mean, she's going to be able to garden. She's going to be able to take care of the house for us. It's going to be so much better having the mummy nanny with us. Like now we need to put the, the toddler to bed, but Darian is trying to eat and he needs to go work on things so she can go get the baby and put her to bed for Darian. Darian, put your child down. And he wants to play with magic. Okay, so we're going to send him upstairs. Uh, oh, actually, he's kind of snoozy. Well, we'll have him play with magic for a minute. Let's see. Cast spell. Woo! Or just play with magic. That'll make him happy. Woo! Nice! He's just having a good time playing with magic. Do not defeat the mummy. You leave Issy alone. He's got a ton of lifetime reward points already. And I've been trying to figure out what we might get for Darian. Let's see. Let's go all the way down. Wow. He's got the Moodlet Manager, Age Freeze Potion, Young Again Potion, Teleportation Pad, Honorary Degree, Motive Mobile, My Best Friend, Food Replicator. Hmm. That's a technology thing, though, so I think he'd rather, like, never, <laughs> never do that. Uh, climate Control Unit, Dusty Old Lamp might be fun, actually really might be fun extra creative what do you guys think super nanny nope that's not what we need hardly hungry might be a good thing because he has managed to do, he's managed to do so much with his with his um life like with all his elixirs i could see magic hands is probably really good though no more wands and he would use his hands his spells would never fail Mmm, perfect host, carefree, always on the list, vacationer, you know, there's just, that was deliberate, uh, it's just, there's so many things that I feel like could be pretty fun, ooh, learned relic hunter, never dull, oh, that would be awesome, because he comes off as dull so often, because he's a brooding sim, oh my goodness, but at the same time, I don't want to take away from what he's like, you know? Bookshop bargainer, opportunistic. I want it to stay true to what he's like. Fertility treatment. Oh my gosh. I think we're gonna get that. Like, Gina, what do you what do you think about getting fertility treatment? Um, I kinda actually want her to have something that'll help her get promoted a little bit faster. Like being able to learn faster, professional simulonium booster. Um, you know, just like a, a genius thing or something like that. Hmm. Lungs of steel. Ooh, for scuba diving. I like it. Fast learner. Oh my gosh. We're going to get that for Gina right now. Boom. Yay. We've got it. And Darian? I don't know what to spend his lifetime points on just yet. And actually, even though it's pretty late, it's not a full moon. So I'm going to go ahead and have Darian uh, gallop all the way out, even though he's going to be exhausted by the time he gets here. Uh, oh, wait, I guess they're going to be closed. Never mind. I've done that before where I sent him to the brouhaha and they're closed because it's the wrong hours. <laughs> Darian, you're lucky. I remembered at the last second. But we'll go ahead, have him eat an apple, and then go to bed. There we go. Where the heck is Zelda? I need to check on what Zelda's doing. All right, you sleep, and now I don't have to worry about Darian. Oh, yeah, Zelda's throwing a house party. Oh, and I need to move her little snake down here. She does have one little snake that can come on down. So let me go ahead and grab that little guy. Where are you, little snake? There you are. Look, it's snoozing, and her macaw just vanished. It didn't die or anything. It just disappeared. Uh, da -da -da -da. We'll put the little snake right here. <laughs> just kind of harass her her mom because I imagine Gina would be a little bit leery or we could put it like right, right over here Ooh, that actually works out pretty nicely I just need to grab this and boom there we go now her little snake has a spot cute little corn snake little scarlet king snake I mean let's see Aw, oh, that, that makes me happy look at the cutie pie he's just down here with all this greenery it's perfect for him Plenty of room. What the heck? Oh, 
Izzy Lapis just picked up Ariel. She will always remember how incredibly soft Ariel felt in her arms. The perfect nanny. Perfect nanny. I am so pleased with this. So pleased. We can have her start tending to our garden and leveling up her gardening skill in just a moment. Look, the cats are dreaming of fish. Oh, and speaking of which, you guys were asking, why don't I just put all the fish into the big fish tank? And I didn't even know there was a big fish tank in Sims 3. That made me so excited. My plan was to fill like some fish tanks where I want to put the fountains, like fountain, fish tank, fish tank, fountain, over here with plants in between to fill in the gaps. Turns out the large fish tank is only in loft stuff, which I don't have yet. And so I looked into it, it's like $20. That's a bit much right now, but I might gift it to myself for my birthday next month. So I really, really want it just for the large fish tank because that would be so awesome. I'm such a, a animal collector. It would just be perfect. Zelda, you're gonna go ahead and you need, you need to snooze. You can hear her like just throwing the biggest party ever in there. Darian, calm it down. React noisy sim- You stop yelling at your daughter and you go back to sleep, sir. Meanwhile, Issy, look at her. She just wants to make the bed all the time and like clean the snake terrarium. And she is just the most amazing thing. Can she clean it? Yeah, look at this. <gasps> She's the perfect nanny. I am so in love with her. All right, the baby's falling asleep. Yep, I'm gonna have to find a way for her to move a little faster. Gina's working on upgrading her skills. Oh, she's feeling nauseous from unknown causes, you guys. Very exciting. I am pretty sure we already have the procreation elixir made, and it's upstairs in Darian's... Let's see, elixir of youth, youth. Do we not? All right, Darian's going to have to make a new procreation elixir, unless it's hiding in his inventory, which is very possible. Um, let's see. Not oh, sure. He's a recipe inventor right now. He needs to sell lots more stuff to fund his promotion. Let's just go ahead and sell these vials of bliss. Oh my gosh. They're only worth like 16 a piece. That's like the most basic of basic. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, what other elixirs are hiding in here? You can't use them yet, Darian. There it is, the procreation elixir. We're just gonna gently tuck that into Gina's inventory so she's ready when the time comes. Meanwhile, like I feel like it's more nicer to Darian to have all of her technology even more out of sight because I feel like I wish we could just lock this so just Darian isn't allowed because <laughs> like, he tries to sneak in here to sabotage our stuff all the time. Poor Gina, just trying to be a fairy mad scientist. Oh my gosh, Zelda. Sweetie, you like need to go to bed. You have school in the morning. I think she's forgotten what school even means. Earn new title by increasing rebel influence. She is such a rebel. Zelda, enough. You need to go to sleep. Sleep. Can we like assign this as like her fairy house? Don't free Jeffrey and Bridget right now. Go to sleep. I'll have I'll have the mummy feed Jeffrey and Bridget. Are they doing okay? Are they like out of reach? Is that why? All right. Why are you unhappy? Oh, she's tense because of the vile surroundings. Because I think this this is messy. But she should feel better. Yeah. Does that make you feel any better? Oh, look how much happier she is now that she's cleaned up the snake's cage. That's awesome. All right, I'm going to leave the two little whales for a while. But yeah, we'll send her. now we'll send her all the way upstairs. Very slowly, because she moves slowly to feed Jeffrey and feed Bridget. So we'll keep an eye on her and make sure that she's able to do that. I am in love with this new nanny. Wait, where are you going? Oh, she's got to throw up. Oh, I need to make a little bathroom down here. That would be a smart thing to do. Gina, calm down. All right, she's got to go throw up because she's pregnant. And Ariel, ooh, that didn't sound so pleasant. And Ariel, we're going to wake up so that Gina can bring her to potty train. What, can we not use this for potty training? What are you doing? Oh, maybe it's because the baby's sleeping? Well, let's hold the baby. 
Because she's about to use her, her diaper and we don't want that. Come on, Ariel. I'm also going to find a way that our mummy won't be so noisy. Because <laughs> she's like... Rrr. Maybe it'll keep the zombies away. They'll think there's competition here and they'll, they'll like stay away. Alright, potty train the baby. I'm so in love with this family. It's just getting more and more awesome. It just started with awesome Darian, son of a witch and alchemist, and his adopted fairy daughter that he just found as a foundling. And look at where it's gone. So far. You doing okay, Issy? <laughs> She's gonna be an awesome nanny. It's just she doesn't move the fastest. I guess it's to trade off of the fact that she doesn't need any sleep or anything like that. All right. I know. We'll feed you in a minute, Gina. Don't worry. All right. Yay, Ariel's all done. Uh, let's snuggle her and chat to her. Who's talking? Oh, now that she's all the way over here, he's like, I can't reach them. Okay, 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 calm down. I'll move the frogs. I think that's why everyone can is complaining about the frogs, the frog twins that we, we summoned with uh, conjured up from apples. Once upon a time, you two were apples. You were born in captivity. Can I feed them now? Do I need to move them up a little bit? I think she can feed them now. Yeah, she's going to go feed them now. Oh, and you were at least who are bonding. Oh, what's her relationship like with her family? Pretty good. Pretty good. And the new nanny. Yay. All right, so let's see. She's totally bonded to mom and dad, which makes me so happy. All right, and we're like, I love how, I love how Alex, who's kind of kooky, is one of our friends. That's funny. All right, Ariel, now you're going back in the crib. And we're going to let your mom kind of tend to her needs. And then go downstairs and study. All right. Set fairy trap. No. Let's see. We could upgrade this to be self-cleaning. I could have sworn that Darian magically upgraded it already. Oh, no. This must be new. That's why. All right. There we go. Life's getting a little bit better for everybody involved. And then we'll send her out here. Drink some pollen punch. There. <gasps> Yay! And the nanny made it all the way upstairs so she can feed our frogs. I love this. <laughs> She's so awesome. All she wants to do is clean and learn the skills we need her to learn anyway. Oh, you, Issy, you're like the best ever. And look, she's feeding our twin frogs. She's so cool. I know what she looks like when she's not a mummy, too, but I'm going to keep that a secret from you guys for now. Secret, secret. All right, let's see. Is this dead? It's wilting, so we'll water it. And we'll water this one. And then we will send her outside. And she's going to come and work on her gardening skill. Water. Someone around town has been spreading a rumor that Darian Northstar got arrested. Who would do that? Like, seriously. Who would do that? Oh, I think we have to go to, like, town hall and contest that now. Look, he's been publicly disgraced. He lost a friend from neglect. Who? Was it you? Amanda? Maybe? We need... Was it... Oh, Gwendolyn, I think, just grew up or something. I don't know what just happened here. Huh. Well... Oh my gosh, he's humiliated. He's desolate. <gasps> this is a serious deal. We're going to have to like deal with this somehow. Look, he wants to brood for three hours. You know what? I think this, this is brood worthy. It's brood worthy for letting him brood for three hours. Oh, this is sweet. I love having someone else to take care of all the plants. No wonder people, I, I was a nanny actually. I don't know if you guys know that, but I was a nanny and now I'm like, no wonder everyone was like, oh, I always want a nanny. Meanwhile, the little, the little gnome is going to have to be nervous because Mr. Cowplant is still right here. Dun, dun, dun. All right. 
Wonderful, Gina. Wonderful. I'm so proud of you. And then we'll send her back downstairs to continue upgrading this. And then she can come over and tinker with her science machine to get her, her skills up. I love the new basement, too. It's going to be so nice to be able to, like, put all sorts of decorative pieces in here. Let's see what sort of relics we have in Gina's inventory from Egypt that we will decorate Is Issy's room with. Hopefully I can get Issy like to be able to hang out and talk to Darian and Gina without them freaking out every two seconds. Oh yeah, we got this statue. <gasps> it's really cute, look at it. It's kind of like, oh, I'm gonna put it like right there. It's worth a lot too. Oh, that looks so good in her room. All right, then what else do we have? Oh yeah, we've got a luminous salamander. So we're gonna keep a hold of that guy to breed him because he's needed for some of Darian's rare elixirs. And we've got all these, these turquoise, which I think might be one of Gina's favorite plants. So let's see, sarcophagus fragments, a bunch of money bags uh, that aren't worth that much. And then some space rocks, more turquoise. Blue topaz. Oh, the scarab beetle. I forgot we caught that guy. Getting closer on the sarcophagus of the kings that we could put together. There we go. Egyptian relics. Okay. Put this jar over here. This is, this is, and someone pointed out, you know that's the jar that they stored, like, organs in. And yes, and I think that's really awesome. A really fascinating cultural practice. And I don't mind having it as a decorative piece in my house whatsoever. All right, we'll put the little gold sneak statue out. There's just a whole bunch of fossilized things. Contemporary snake statue. Ooh, I wonder if that's why it's worth only zero because it's a fake. It's not a real snake statue. Um, oh, I wish there was a way to like get the broken vase. Oh, it looks really cool. I'm gonna like put it right there even though it's in the wall because it looks like it's decorating a corner. And then contemporary old Egyptian vase. I don't mind kind of stacking things over here. She's not going to walk back here. Um, so it's kind of fun just to like make this area a little bit messy with all of the relic scraps. Let's see. What about this one? What is this? I don't know. That, that one's not so cool. This, this vase. It's old though. It, and it's made out of stone. Let's see. What about... Mm, we can hide it back there. Why not? What about this one? pretty cool. I need to wait for some OMSP so I can like put it up here and then I would love to put the stone like I would love to use this red pottery bowl and then use OMSPs to put the fossilized stone in there. I think that would be a great way to decorate her room. So there we go. We've got Issy's room a little bit more decorated and I am learning the awesomeness of having a mummy nanny which is just absolutely freaking fantastic. But I'm going to let Gina work on upgrading her handiness skill and hopefully it will go much faster now that we have given her that little boost with her lifetime rewards of fast learner. And I'm gonna dig through and see what other lifetime rewards we might be able to give her. And hopefully we can send her to work for at least one day before she is on maternity leave forever and a day again. So I will see you guys next time, probably in the morning. And I'm just gonna let Issy kinda go around. Look at her, she's just taking care of all the plants. You're the perfect mummy nanny. I just need to give them like a bathroom downstairs too. So, hmm, I wonder if I can do that. Let me see, I think I can do that. All right, well, I will see you guys in the morning. Bye-bye.